what is up you guys welcome back to another video so today um we're gonna be working on a truck that i've been working on the side um recently bought it maybe like two three months ago it's a 97 cheyenne uh, which you guys are gonna start seeing videos on now i have done a lot of work to it i've dropped it i have uh, done some other little extra things i want to show you guys on camera instead of telling you guys but um i could do a walkthrough uh, probably the next video is going to be a walkthrough of what I've done to the truck, what uh, upgrades I've done, and all that good stuff. But today, we're doing an unboxing video, basically. Uh, I bought this stereo on Amazon, so like 100 bucks. Nice little screen on it, but it's a single thing. So that's, I saw just the reviews. Uh, some other guy had it on a Blazer, 98 Blazer. Um, same dash, same everything as me. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this opened up show you guys what's inside and then we're gonna install it into the truck and I'll do like a little review. I tried looking up videos and honestly there's no good reviews on this. There's either just pictures or something like that, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a couple little clips here and there. Um, once it's installed, what it does, the features, you know. And yeah, and then right here, this other package right here is for the next video coming soon. I'm still waiting on the second piece that's coming for that. Uh, but yeah. So let's, let's start I'm trying to get up. you guys in like the best angle as possible. Um, but yeah, so kind of like this cardboard box or whatever. That was a fail. Try to open it on the side. go first thing out the box another box Looks like those Christmas pranks when you open it up your Christmas present and then boom is a box after another box move this one to the side this is what you guys get Android um yeah no other uh things but just right here made in China whatever you know Open it up real tab, bada bing, bada boom. Pop it open. So cool. A lot of people were saying on their uh, reviews, it does not come with a owner's manual, which I believe why I got two. So yeah, you just go ahead and scan it as well. And I think it comes with one inside like the actual system. So right now, we're looking at a Ziploc bag full of cables. Another set of cables outside of the bag. That's pretty much it. Styrofoam and all that good stuff. So let's open this one up first before we go to the stereo part. Empty it out. And you got your USB cable. Main connector, which are, you know, illumination, speaker wires, power, um, remote, all that good stuff. For the camera, I do have a camera for it. So we're gonna add a camera on that truck, which will you see why it's good and why we're gonna need it. Little microphone. The truck already has one from the old stair that's in there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna run that one. It's too bulky, the other one's hidden. Um, and then all your RCAs. So you got your subwoofer, you got your aux, which that's what I was concerned about as well. If, it was, if this stereo was gonna have it. Majority of your Amazon stereos, they don't have these uh, plugs um, for you to be able to adapt amplifiers. Um, you only get like a subwoofer one, but no vocals. In this truck, I wanna go ahead and put a couple vocals in there with a vocal amp so it sounds nice and clear. Um, and I could actually, you know, show out when I pull up to the meets or stuff like that. That's kind of the plan of this truck. It's just going to be a truck that I can take to the meets without having to worry about getting pulled over, stay revved, all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this one has video out. So, I'm assuming this one and, and this one right here, you go ahead and add a video to it. So, maybe this will be a front camera. This is going to be more of a, you know, you want to plug in a, a, a HDMI, all that stuff. You got your audio out output, which should be another one. 
You have this red one, this red one and white one go together. Aux in, so this is more for like aux cable. Uh, these are useless basically for me. But if you're still trying to rock an aux cable, you know, you have that option. You have the options here for your audio out. So these right here would be going to your actual um, vocal app, right? And this green one, which I'm assuming you'd have to get a little a white, a white RCA, which is one and then two out, would be for your subwoofer, or depending on what RCAs you bought. Then you got your remote, which is your antenna, or whatever, and your microphone. So not that bad. It's got a lot of options on it. Let's get to the good stuff. Uh, we got another little zip. Oh, we got another USB. So two USB connections you could put on this uh, stereo. I don't think I'm gonna run any at all. Um, no need for it. I have a charger in there and all that good stuff, so I don't really need it. And it does have wired in uh, CarPlay, uh, Apple and uh, Android CarPlay. So that's basically what you would need a port to as well. It does have a GPS, it does come with a map and everything, so this one, we're going to have to figure out where we're going to put it. I'll probably put it inside the truck on the windshield, but uh, I don't want to drill any holes or anything, bring it outside. But yeah, these you can put them inside on the windshield. Double side of tape on this side, and yeah, you just tie this one on there and you're good to go. I've had a couple of these, they're, they're pretty cool. They work somewhat re re relatively good. So... That's it, empty box, nothing else left in there. We'll wait on the radio. We do have these brackets. Uh, you guys have installed the stereo before or anything like that, you know, you gotta go buy a whole um, stereo uh, uh, kit, you know, harness, adapter, um, pieces, and this and that. So these little screws go right here. This goes on the side of your stereo, mounts up. This going towards the stereo, this right here is going to go ahead and mount up to the body of the dash so it will hold in place. So we'll use these sooner than later. And then these little tabs right here is if you have your factory radio and you have like little slots on the side, put them in, it unlocks them and then you could pull your whole stereo out. I will not be using this, I have an aftermarket stereo on the truck already. So yeah. And then you got a couple Phillips screws. Um, you know, little Phillips screws right here, which are going to hold your stereo down. We'll go ahead and put everything back in the bag. I don't want to lose it. It's, you know, it is with all those screws. They go missing like the 10 millimeter bolts. Now, here's the, what we've been waiting for. A little styrofoam on the sides. Comes in a little bag. We're going to go ahead and pop it out. You guys can see it does have a little screen protector, which is pretty cool. So, just for reference, it's not that big. It is a single thing, right? It's single thing, and you got the rest of the body going in, so it is a little bit long. Most applications, this would just tuck in. You have enough space in between your dash. This, what I saw is this sits perfectly in the, in the slot that my truck has, and it looks almost stock. It doesn't stick out. Normally, these stereos, you have like this much sticking out. This one's gonna sit flush, which is pretty cool. You do have your power plug, and then you have every single other one plug that you have, all these little accessories right here. They go in there. Um, it's basically pretty straightforward. Wherever it fits, it clips, it, you can't put it in anywhere else. So it's cool. You have your GPS antenna, is the little red thing. You just pop it off and just screw on the antenna when you're ready. Your radio antenna, and it has a little 15 amp fuse. Yep, 15 amp fuse. And it already has a little skeleton that holds this in place. So when you just slide it in, it's perfect and ready to go. So yeah, guys, this is it right here. Um, little stereo I picked up for a hundred bucks on Amazon. Um, it does have a lot of reviews, good and bad. A majority of them are good. The bad ones I saw are normally just because the customer's not happy either with Amazon or with the fact that um, yeah, they're paying $100 for a stereo. I mean, what, what else can you ask for? Um, the other ones I've seen, they have good resolution and everything. So we're, we're about to find that out um, and see how it works. See if it, uh, it's better. My stereo, the only thing wrong with it right now is that you have to go up to 50 on the volume knob and 
for it to sound and it sounds all right but at that point i feel like i'm maxing out the speakers and it doesn't sound as cool as i wanted to i got two little tens in there with a nice box and uh kicker amp so it, it, it does you know kick off and, and then it sounds good but not where i needed it to be and then plus as well why not just put a little screen in there you know when i pull up a little video on there and so yeah guys this is kind of part one of me coming back to the channel the radio um i am going to be recording a video of me installing it and getting it done and then kind of like a little review of what i think about it and how i like it so yeah guys hope you guys like the video um stay tuned we are coming back this time i know i've said it before but we are coming back this time we are going to start recording i have done a lot of work on that truck already um sadly i don't have very good footage of it but yeah i'll do a walk around so you guys can see it and yeah stay tuned guys it's coming i did throw a little sneak peek on the shorts if you guys seen it great if not stay tuned guys it's coming um little truck is it's coming out badass i believe it's one of one um to my liking and how i i've done it but yeah guys stay tuned right now we're gonna go install this and uh yeah stay tuned for the next one